on Thursday, September the 27th, 2018, both uh, the chief accuser or the first accuser uh, of U.S. Supreme Court Associate Justice nominee, Judge Brett Kavanaugh, Dr. Uh, Christine Blasey Ford, and Mr. Kavanaugh himself testified before the Senate. Both stuck to their stories. Uh, Professor and Dr. Blasey Ford claimed that in 1982, in the summer of 1982, when she was uh, 15 and Kavanaugh was 17, Kavanaugh tried in a teenager's party uh, to force himself on her sexually until another boy knocked him over with the result that all the three teenagers fell from the bed to the floor or something like that. Uh, Judge Kavanaugh did uh, admit that it is possible that uh, Dr. Blasey Ford was indeed sexually assaulted at some point during her past life. Uh, strongly denied uh, to have been in that party. He even produced his calendar from that summer uh, according to which uh, he hadn't been present. In other words, he basically said that while uh, Dr. Blasey Ford may have been sexually assaulted either then or earlier or later, uh, she simply could not remember her assaulter or attacker correctly. Whether it was genuine emotion or not, Judge Kavanaugh even uh, cried a little and claimed that these allegations had destroyed his family and cast doubt on whether he ever would be able to teach law again. He actually has earlier worked as a law professor. Regardless of the Republican majority's uh, haste to get the nomination uh, approved, next Tuesday, that is on October the 2nd, 2018, the American Bar Association asked in a letter sent on Thursday night, the Senate Judiciary Committee to suspend its consideration of Brett Kavanaugh's nomination to the Supreme Court until an investigation by the Federal Bureau of Investigation is completed into multiple sexual assault allegations so far Three women have come forward, two of whom have directly accused um, Judge Kavanaugh of having uh, either tried to assault him uh, them sexually, as in the case of Dr. Blasey Ford, and then the second one has even uh, claimed that Judge Kavanaugh tried to rape her, while the third one has not directly accused um, Judge Kavanaugh of sexually inappropriate behavior, but uh, rather has apparently accused him and his friend or companion of having stood by and having done nothing to defend uh, her from being assaulted and or raped by one or more college students, male college students. The American Bar Association sided with Senate Democrats out of its respect for the rule of law and due process under law. The four-paragraph letter addressed to Senate Judiciary Chairman Chuck Grassley, a Republican from Iowa, and ranking Senate uh, Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein of California, represented a stunning turn of events. The American Bar Association had bestowed its highest rating of unanimous, well-qualified uh, for the Supreme Court, and Kavanaugh pointed to the American Bar Association's support during Thursday's proceedings. Each appointment to our nation's highest court, as with all others, is simply too important to rush to a vote. American Bar Association President Robert Carlson wrote in the letter, Deciding to proceed without conduct conducting additional investigation would not only have a lasting impact on the Senate's reputation, but it will also negatively affect the great trust necessary for the American people to have in the Supreme Court. 
Senate Republicans, though, have deflected Democrats' call for an FBI probe. A committee vote on Kavanaugh is expected Friday, that is today, on September the 28th, 2018, U.S. time, of course, with a vote on his nomination possible by as early as the weekend. For 12 years, everyone who has appeared before me on the D.C. circuit, that is one of the federal circuit courts of the United States where he has served, has praised my judicial temperament, Kavanaugh said Thursday. That's why I have the unanimous well-qualified rating from the American Bar Association. Senator Lindsey Graham, a Republican from South Carolina, also appointed to the American Bar Association's grading as evidence of Kavanaugh's qualifications on Thursday. Here's my understanding. If you lived a good life, people will recognize it like the American Bar Association has the gold standard, he said. His integrity is absolutely unquestioned. In the closing of his letter, Carlson wrote, respectfully, the Senate should re recognize that a thorough FBI investigation will demonstrate its commitment to a Supreme Court that is above reproach. The Religious America magazine also walked back its um, a previous report, support for Kavanaugh on Thursday, calling for his nomination to be withdrawn in the best interests of the country.